everyone, as per my mother's request, I am building an emergency light box under 150 rupees or just 3 dollars. Well, it was supposed to be a box, but I improved on the design later on and it became a cylinder now. And it looked like this. Beautiful. Well, you could use this as an emergency lamp when the current goes off. It happens only in India. You could also use this for camping. Or you could just place this on the table and have a romantic dinner with your girlfriend. Well, I don't want to sound like a teleshopping ad. It's useful and it's sexy. I will show you the steps involved. Well, most part of it, I burned my fingers and I forgot to record in the pain. Difficulty level, super new. Let's begin. Tools required. Soldering iron. Soldering iron holder, highly recommended if you don't want to be burning your fingers on the table. Solder, solder flux, knife, a parts holder, or I mean, a car mobile holder. wire stripper or you could use the scissors. For the electrical stuff you need car LED lightning strip, white color preferably, a 9 volt battery and the connector. Okay. A 3 1.5 AA battery holder which holds two batteries. Two AA batteries, some wires, and a small switch. Do not use a plug. Solder will not get stuck on the little. I'll solder the LED right now. You have to take out the coating of this one and you have to connect it. Okay, I have used a blade and cut the coating off. No. See which one is positive. I'm checking on the next part. So on the left is the positive one. Also the positive. Okay. Okay, done. We want to use an insulation. I'm sorry, a double-sided tape and stick these together so that it will be easier for me to work. Okay, for the box, I'm taking power can over here, so you need to cut two holes in it. Uh, one is for 
the LED light strip to come out and the other one is for the switch. So take the measurements of the switch and switch and the light light strip. You can mark on the container and cut it. To cut, get hold of a small knife. Uh, my mother is still cribbing about it, so at least make sure it is not her favorite. If you don't tell her, I'm very sure to find out come after you. Keep the knife gently over the stove and you can cut the holes by inserting here and keep, keep more and uh, you can uh, like flatten it out and don't worry about the excess because you can trim it out later on with a blade or the knife about a portion don't inhale the smoke that comes out it could be dangerous okay for the container i have taken out the led strip from here and it has it had a 3m tape so i removed that and i have stuck it all around going round and round until here now i'll put the switch and automatically lock here uh, okay, before that I'll just put some soldering locks on the tip so that uh, the solder can hold onto it and now I will insert this one Okay, I'll solder the the terminal now Okay, so the switch works. Okay, finally. I'm gonna put this, this one back and screw the lid. Okay, so voila, it's done. My mother has asked me to do LED strip lighting for the modular kitchen in our new house. I'm wondering how will I do that. This is working. It's quite bright. It's lovely. The expected, uh, it's expected to last charge for around 100 hours. Subscribe now to get more videos like this. Hit the like button if you liked it. See ya! <laughs>